busy region where memorial service of Mshindo brothers and their mother will soon be underway in Katima Mulilo. Now to give us more details, we are now joined on the line by in, from Katima Mulilo from Charles Suyawya, one of the coordinators. A very good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Very well, and thank you so much for making the time to join us. Yeah. Now, we believe the memorial service is due to take place shortly, and we see preparations already going on. Please take us through the program. Yes, good afternoon, Olivia. Um, the program will start exactly at 2 o'clock. We expect the arrival of Monas, and uh, it will take place at Ngueze um, Community Hall in Katimam Lilo. Uh, the director of proceedings are going to be Mr. Fimasiku Kavuku, Mr. Mudaveti Simbola, as well as Chelsea Awea. The order of proceedings will be as follows. We are going to have an open prayer by Pastor Mutasa, and there after welcoming the remarks, uh, after welcoming the remarks, we are going to have an opening hymn. As you might know that, um, that all the decisions they were not coming from the same church. So we are going to have a combination of hymns from different church denominations who are going to sing to represent the choice of religion that are the latest choice during that last time. And they asked for the lighting of candles. And uh, before that, there was a moment of silence for lighting of candles. Then reading of the biography of the late and tribute after that, we are going to form a poem by Bongani, a message of condolences from friends, relatives, sage. After that, we are going to form again. Then uh, we are going to speech from government and agencies. And there, uh, the Honorable Governor is going to give a speech. Now, when speeches by government and agencies, uh, here I give it, make it very clear that uh, different organizations such as traditional authorities in the Andes region, they are going to give their message of condolences. Notably, is Chinchimane Kuta, Vukalo Kuta. We are still waiting to hear from other traditional authorities in the Andes region. But Chinchimane and Vukalo, they have confirmed to give their message of condolences. Uh, then the governor's speech. Thereafter, we are going to have a speech from ministers, mm -hmm. speech from uh, traditional authority, which I've already mentioned. That's my aid, Machi, Mafu, and Masudia. Mm -hmm. But we have only confirmed to that we have received. We are still waiting to get confirmation from other traditional authority. Good. Now, from there on, there is a yes. traditional forum for forum for speech. Uh, the president is going to speak as well. So that's how the order of proceedings is going to be today. Thank you. Now, Mr. Mr. Siyaw, just before we let you go, we believe now the burials are slated for tomorrow. Could you please briefly just repeat for us in terms of where exactly these will take place and how they will take place? And you mentioned earlier that the uh, deceased do not come from the same church denominations. Does that, in essence, then rule out the idea of a mass burial? Yes, uh, j j just a point of direction there. Mm -hmm. uh, there. There will be no burial taking place tomorrow, Monday. Okay. Uh, there will be no burial taking place tomorrow, Monday. Mm -hmm. A burial will take place on Tuesday. Uh, I'll start with um, the Simbola family. The Simbola family are going to depart tomorrow. If all goes according to plan, they are going to cross the border to go to Zambia, uh, Mambova area, Kapolota village. That's where they are going to bury on Tuesday, not tomorrow. That's the point of correction I wanted to put on, uh, on, 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 on to the media. As far as uh, the Chindo family, uh, the program for the 16th of November there will be a memorial service in Palila at a venue called Kamavogu Village in Impalila. They will be welcoming the match by the Master of Ceremony, open prayer, open reading of the biography of the late and the tribute, song, 
message of condolences from friends and relatives, from someone, from prayer and both of things. But now, tomorrow is the murder of faith for Nchingo family. And then, the barrier will take place on Tuesday. Now, let me come to the issue of the mask that you have. Uh, it's the term that uh, Zambia's region were not used to. Mm -hmm. And um, what we know is that they are going to be buried, but not masters. Sorry, if you, could just, if you could just repeat that for me. The question was around a mass burial, not necessarily a mass yeah. grave. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yes, they are going to be buried at the same time. All of them at the same time, yes. All right. That will be on Tuesday. That will be on Tuesday. All right. So uh, thank you so much once again for making uh, the time to fact, join us. That's the three, that's the, the Jindo family. That will be a mass burial at uh, Impalila. But now, uh -huh. for the for Simpla family in Zambia, it will only be one person. But it will be on Tuesday, Mambova, Kapurota village. But, but the only challenge that... Uh, the singular family stage or reported to the committee mm -hmm. is the issue of death certificate, issuing of death certificate and transport to Zambia. However, they told me that they have given this information to the office of the governor mm -hmm. and the honorable governor is busy working on it. There were just some other information which was missing, like from the singular family. The issue of ID, they could not find the ID, but everything now is sorted. Mm -hmm. They hope and trust they are going to get everything done by tomorrow. In terms of transport to Zambia, uh, they are also the Honorable Governor. I'm told by the family that is busy looking into the matter. Mm -hmm. So probably by tomorrow they are going to give the response with regard to support or not support transport to Zambia. But all they say is that uh, since from the beginning, that's the Singular family now, they have been getting support. That, so is, that, that is certainly great to hear. Mr. Sawyer, once again, thank you so much for making the time to join us, sir. Yes, Papa. Well, there you have it. There was one of the spokespersons of the organizing committee, Charles Sioya, briefing us on the memorial service of uh, the three Nshindo brothers and the, their mother, which will be then slated to start, or the memorial service rather, starting at 2 o'clock at Katima Mulilo.